all right guys welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be putting a hei distributor in this vortec 350 or in project bison so to do this swap it's really pretty easy so you move your engine to top dead center top dead center cylinder number one compression stroke you know you know how it goes and what you're going to do is you're going to disconnect your your coil wire here and all the wires that go to the distributor so obviously this other wire from the coil to the distributor just leave it there on the distributor but take it off the coil and then the other wire that's behind the distributor now to make this work because we're going mechanical not electronic fully because all this you know all this requires is just a 12 volt battery source to, you know to, you know that's how the spark comes out and the tack signal so to put it in this tbi system truck we're going to use the pink wire that's that is that is our key on power source and then we're going to need a tax signal you know because if you're keeping the original tachometer or like me that has a aftermarket tack I'm, i want to I, I, I can't speak english but uh you would want a tax signal so you can register your rpms now like me who's going to do an efi soon well i need that type of signal now i don't know if this is if it's this white wire or this connector here but long story short you know i'll just look back on the wiring diagram but this is the pink hot wire that you're going to need or reuse so we're going to move that out of the way so on this wire the purple and white is going to be for a tack signal so how this goes and that's the only wire you're going to need but how this goes is on your distributor HEI distributor, the plug back here, you have a plus that says either battery or just a plus sign. You're gonna hook up a 12 gauge wire, a red wire, because you know, power, and you're gonna connect it to that pink wire, okay? Then that's it from that side. For the tack, you're gonna have a two to one connection here. So you're gonna have a green wire or whatever wire you wanna put in, as long as it's a 12 gauge, again 12 gauge wire and you're gonna hook it up to that purple and white one and that white wire that says right here i don't know if, i gotta look back i don't know if it's that one there or not but that's your tech signal for your tachometer your rpms or whatever you want to hook up to it like i said it's up to you but in this case the reason we're hooking up that tech wire from the distributor to this purple and white is because when you turn the key on obviously your fuel pump kicks in but when you have it running, it's gonna die. Why? Because it needs a ignition source from the distributor to the computer to tell it to keep running. So that's basically what we're doing. We're just bypassing everything. And we're just going straight uh, from a tech signal source to that fuel pump system. So that's the only two connections you really need. Three total, honestly. But wiring, that's it. So once the distributor is in here, I'll show you how it's all set up. But the mechanical advance, vacuum advance is gonna be run through here to this port. Remember how I deleted the EGR and then how this intake is carbureted, doesn't have an EGR for it, this is plugged. So right here for this TVI system, this is the perfect plug to hook it up. Now if you've gone and do an EFI swap, well, you have you know, you know an option. But for me, this is, this is the port I'm gonna use. So you're gonna have to get yourself a vacuum line from the tbi to the distributor and that should be technically it i went ahead and uh, labeled it so as you can see you can pause the video these two little dashes are are basically the connection for the electrical just how like here i went ahead and labeled it see so yeah so less chattering more working working so like I said, you got to do is just put it top of the center, pull this out, swap it in. Easy. So, like I said, let me go ahead and do this and get back with you.
Dead stop. Nobody coming. Zero to 60, baby. Come on. And you can hear. No hesitation at all. So she's fine tuned, baby. Come on. Stop again. Let's try that again. So. Zero to 60, I don't know. In a couple of seconds, 20. Almost 10 seconds. Because it's right, right as soon as it's 60, it was 30 seconds on this two minute segment. So 10 seconds at zero to 60 is not bad. I mean, really, it's not bad. So, let's, let's raise the window up a little bit. Alright, yeah, I'm happy with this. Let's go. So, if you're having trouble, just go old school. Put HEI. You'll, you will not regret it. So, yep. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Any questions, comment down below. We'll be gladly to help you out. And like always, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload next time. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah.